So recently Firefly celebrated its 10th anniversary and it gave me an idea to make a game based on the show. But what I actually came up with in the end is a game based around one particular episode called The Train Job. And this is how I made it. If you want to have a go at making it yourself then watch the rest of the video and I'll show you how. So what I've done, I've just roughly cut out the shape of the ship as a rectangle. I haven't bothered going precisely on the lines because I'm going to do that now, cutting out the balsa wood. But uh, I've just held it in place with some spray mount. Spray mount's really good because uh, it's quite easy to peel off afterwards when you've finished but it holds it quite firmly in place. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start cutting it out. The uh, best way I've found of cutting this balsa wood is to do lots of little scores rather than trying to cut through all in one go. So if you always try and position it so when you're cutting this way with your knife then there's nothing over here you have to stop for so you don't have to worry about it rather than if I cut it that way I would always have to be thinking where to stop so not to score, carry on scoring there Now these two are probably the most trickiest parts, but uh, take your time. first part of the ship cut out. So now we're going to cut out one of the engines. So the easiest way I've found to get this curve is to use a a pair of scissors and very carefully cut round it and then you can go in later on when we clean it up with some glass paper and make it a lot neater. There we go. That's the engine. So this is the uh, strut that holds the ship together and the engine so it's a simple rectangle that should be a lot easier to cut out. So I just wanted to show you this, the best way to uh, cut these grooves and get them all equal and uh, nice and neat is um, I've got here three broken hacksaw blades and make sure that uh, you get the teeth all running the right way so they're cutting on a forward motion yeah, and just tape them all together and that thickness is just the right size for these slits and I'm going to try my best to get it on camera is you want to get it to the edge of something like this so you've got plenty of room to be able to move up and down and if you're just gently holding it at that kind of angle there not straight like that but an angle like so just drag it back to get it started And very slowly and carefully start to cut. I 
a little bit of glass paper then and be okay and if you get a piece of scrap balsa wood here and it's just just the right thickness so I figure the easiest way to do this is to lay the aluminium foil nice and flat like this and I've got it on top of this soft felt material so I don't get any rips or cracks um, and I'm going to spray each part individually with the spray mount and uh, then place it on top of the silver so what foil. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, coat the train in the silver foil on the inside so opposite sides are going to be uh, coated so actually it wants to be like that and we're going to have to coat six of the ends on just one side and eight of the ends on both sides and then we'll create the individual carriages boxes if you like which will be uh, completely surrounded in the aluminium foil and then we can get a nice contact for the buzzer and the um, tweezers so I found if you get it in place just gently pat it down with your hand and then get uh, something like a roll of tape and then just roll over the top so it makes contact all the surfaces so as for cutting these out what I'm trying to do is leave a little bit of an edge on the sides so when we construct the box we get a contact and the trick to cutting these out is is just to let the weight of the knife do the work and drag it So I just wanted to show you how I'm connecting the carriages together. Now I'm using some curly wire here that uh, I've got from an old telephone. And what I've done, i stripped all four wires that are in, in the actual wire itself. And kind of fan out the copper wire a little bit. And then hold it down and get uh, a little piece of double sided sticky tape. Because obviously we can't solder to the uh, aluminium foil like so and then carefully peel off the double sided tape and then get a little square of aluminium foil and put that over the top of that so it hides it all and always put a little bit more on if you need be and then what I'm going to do I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down here to hold that wire in place then so then they're all connected and to double check before you move on that they are all connected just get your continuity meter and hope you, hopefully you can hear this buzz check those wires so I've just marked up the circuit just to test um, if it works fine because I wasn't sure whether I'd have to put a, make a little circuit with some capacitors etc in because uh, it's flowing all around this train there's a lot of um, surface area for the current to run around but it works fine and what I've got here I've got this jack plug coming out here and it's going into the side of the train and I just bridged all the connections because uh, it's just one um, current running through this and I've also got another jack plug here that's actually going to be connected to the uh, tweezers and that's uh, straight into the buzzer the negative to the buzzer is going straight into the battery and this positive is flowing through the train and when I touch this on the side of the train then it will complete the circuit um, just like a push to make switch so so 
So, working fine. So, I wanted to quickly show you this before I paint it and actually start um, to put it into the ship. What I've decided to do is put an electronic dice in the actual body of the Firefly. And what I've got here, I've got this, it's going to fit on top there. It's got a hole there for this push to make switch and you've got the six LEDs so hopefully you've got that on camera, turn this light off so instead of actually throwing a dice you can just roll this electronic dice when I um, put the kit together for the die I purposely left the legs on the LEDs as long as I possibly could because um, I knew I was going to mount it like this so I wanted as much space in between as possible plus the design of this particular kit the LEDs were actually over here so I wanted to bend them in to get them closer to the middle so it's starting to come together now and uh, I'm just laying out the actual track without glue to make sure it all fits and I'm happy with it I've made a couple of changes to the finish part there from what you'll see on the PDF but uh, you just cut them out like I have there. I'm not going to redesign it again. But uh, it all seems to fit together well. All the measurements are spot on, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing it now. The cargo I actually made out of some old Lego and sprayed it black. The tweezers I got these out of an old toolkit, but you can get them from lots of places hardware stores, chemists. I drilled the hole through the top there and soldered the wire into the tweezers themselves on that side. Also if your tweezers are narrower than the actual compartment box, so if they're like that, bend them out a little bit because it just makes it a little bit more difficult because if I let go now while I'm trying to get this out, I'll touch the sides and the buzzer will go. So the, the hill itself are made out of paper mache and just covered it with glue and sand because the actual episode itself takes part in a desert. I secured the train and the Firefly down with this magnetic strip, it's a flexible magnetic strip. I bought a metre of each of it off eBay, with just a, a pound a metre. And there's a good job of holding them securely, and then you can actually remove them when you want to pack it all away. So it's nice and flat. I mean, I do want to eventually make a box for this for it all to go in. And that's uh, probably my next project. So a couple of things I wanted to mention before we end this video. The balsa wood that I used to make the ship and the train out of, I got this off eBay, a pack of 10, I think it was about £5, it wasn't expensive at all. You could probably get away with using card, especially if it's a thicker card like uh, made the base out of. Cereal box card isn't quite thick enough, uh, doesn't give enough rigidity. Um, also if I was doing this again I would definitely use aluminium tape to line the train to make contact with the buzzer be a lot easier to work with and it'll probably last longer as well because it's a lot thicker. The actual characters, the graphics here, I didn't design these, I found these on a, a fan site so whoever designed them thank you. They're also in the pack to download with uh, all the rest of the graphics and the plans to make the ship and the train. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and uh, I hope you actually uh, have a go at making one yourself. If you do, please drop a comment below and let us know. And uh, I'll see you next time.